Nur Rahman Yassin, who's going to Northwestern as a wide receiver, uh, ruled ineligible for his final year because he's used up all his academic eligibility. Um, and I feel like there has to be more to this story. Seems weird that you wouldn't be able to play in sports if academically you've advanced yourself above and beyond. Now, he was homeschooled and had enough credits by the time he was his freshman year, according to the story in the Detroit News. Uh, by the time he was in his freshman year, he had enough credits to be a sophomore, so they made him a sophomore, and now he is post, like a postgraduate, I guess. But two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Ticket text uh, nine seven one three six. Let's go to Jim in Wald Lake. Hi, Jim. Good afternoon, gentlemen. What's up? Hey, I, I think you're reading too much into this. I think the guy, the kid, has met graduation requirements, exceeded them. He's just he's no longer a high school student. Because. On the flip side, what if, say I'm, I'm eligible to graduate, I got the credits, but I want to stick around and play another year so I can just keep taking classes and I'm eligible to play? He just turned 17. Yeah, well, I, I was 17 when I graduated. Yeah, there's no competitive advantage. Should he be able to do it? I think the answer is yes. There's no competitive advantage. If a kid wants to stay in his grade level and play with his classmates in what should be his senior year, no, I don't see any problem with that. He's met requirements to graduate. He's graduated. He's no longer a high school student. Yeah, but he can stay in high school. Like, I, there are kids that finish their graduating requirements after the first semester that take classes in the second semester, aren't there? At their I senior year. That. I, I don't know that. Well, I don't remember kids walking out of school midway through the year when I was young. I, some schools, I remember, they do have a mid, mid-year graduation. Jim, do you have uh, kids who go to the Walleye schools? I used to. They're, they're graduating. They're grown now. From which high school? Central. Okay. I, what, is there any harm? No, I, I don't think any harm. I'm just think, thinking, why would they let him play? And the, the obvious answer to me was he's no longer a student, a high school student. I, I don't know. If the kid wants to play, I don't see any reason he shouldn't be able to play. But here's some feedback coming in. As a coach in the same conference as this school, there have been mumblings for years that he is actually older than he says. Not just grade-wise, but actual age. Signed, anonymous. Hmm. Okay, as we look for the rest of the story, perhaps that's it. Well, none of that's been mentioned in any articles I've read about this, but um, nope, doesn't mean it's not true. Uh, another one here. Yes, he was turned in by a nearby school. I was a coach there, and they knew. When he says I was a coach there, does he mean he was a coach at the nearby school or a coach at Wald Lake Western? Separate academics from athletics. Extra credits don't make you bigger, faster, or stronger. They don't make you older. They don't give you any athletic advantage. Let the kid play. That's kind of where I'm standing. If he is... As old as he says he is. I don't know this kid's specific situation, but I've been around enough homeschoolers to know that many of them are proud that they don't have a grade. I've known 12-year-olds say they're at 10th grade, et cetera. Um, yeah, but should that in any way l- curtail them from playing? Let's go to Derek, who's next here on 97 on a ticket. Hi, Derek. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Not a whole lot, not a whole lot. We were talking about this uh, Wall Lake Western student. I know when I when I was in high school, uh, once the student had enough credit to graduate, they they left the school and came back for graduation, but they were no longer in the school. Okay, but think. Let's think about this. They are discouraging kids that want to do more academically if those kids are also athletes, right? I mean, isn't this counterintuitive to what schooling is all about? I mean, not, not really, because once you already have your credits, you have your credits. You know what I mean? The more you get doesn't do anything for you. Yeah, but if you want to take more electives, right? You're, you're, we're, we're basically punishing kids that want to work ahead but academically. All this, but see, let's keep this in mind, too. All this stuff was done before he got to high school. This is where the credit thing gets out of, out of whack. Because he arrived in 2016 as a freshman, 
And then right. they, they said, well, prior to that, he took too many credits above his grade level. So his classification changed when he got to, when he got to high school. It's not because he took too many credits in high school. It's because when he was homeschooled, Apparently was homeschooled very well and, and tested above his grade, so they put him in. I don't know. It just it, tested, it, it, but he had I, credits that were above his grade level. I can't be aboard a system that is that is working against a kid who is either A, very smart, or B, been done extra work. It doesn't seem like right. this is a case. I mean, listen, listen there's that one report that says that we don't know how old the kid is, but there's every, the other uh, articles you read about the text. Sorry. The other articles you read about it say he just turned 17. There's no competitive advantage physically if you're yeah, he, some kid who just turned 17. Has, he already has the credentials to graduate high school, so he's technically not a high school student anymore. But I don't, the way they look at it. Should the schools think, kick you know, it? Basically, the, you're, if that's the way they're looking at it, they're kicking a kid out. Yeah, basically. For, which I, I can't get on board with this rule. Because you know what that says? That says that the kid should have flunked all his classes last year as a junior. No, that's not what it says at all. It well, just, that's one way around this. To, to play football, I guess. But look, Northwestern's honoring the scholarship. He's obviously a, a, a really good student, and he's a really good athlete. So, I mean, the, the harm is, for him, he doesn't get to play football his last semester with his, with his teammates and with his friends. That's, that's the bummer of this. But it doesn't restrict him. From doing anything in the future no, here because but, he's got but, a scholarship. But let's, that's honored. Ap- let's apply this rule to the average kid that doesn't have a scholarship. The average kid that this would be his last year of high school. The that's average kid isn't going to. The average kid doesn't test in or, or doesn't come in with uh, with extra credits. Well, because, the average kid doesn't, but kids will. But you just asked about the average okay, kid. Okay, but, but let's take an average kid, an average football player. All right. That works ahead academically is going to lose his senior year because he did more in the classroom. That's BS. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Rachel is next. Hi, Rachel. Hey, I totally agree with you, Doug. I feel like this is ridiculous. It's encouraging kids to be mediocre at best. Um, it's like, sorry that you're a go getter kid, but we know you just turned seventeen. But now we're going to punish you. Well, I don't think it, it, it. All it says is that you can't. Nobody's saying don't do more academically. They just say well, the consequence if you do more academically is that you can't participate athletically. Okay, but you realize there should be zero consequence for doing more academically. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just presenting what this other side is to try to make it try to make it as black and white as possible. But it's ridiculous. I, it is ridiculous, and I feel it is a consequence. And even though these kids have excelled academically even though and thank goodness he has this scholarship at northwestern he is still now not going to be able to participate in a fun high school activity and be a kid even though he has a future there is still something about the camaraderie the learning of being a high school football player that he's now going to miss out on because he did so well academically i agree he just turned 17 it should be here's your four years keep going do better in high school if you want to but that shouldn't impact his schooling it's not like he's 21 trying to continue to play no i agree i agree school. i think it's messed up but what if this were a situation where it wasn't football but was like quiz bowl or something like that something academically all right would you feel the same way yes yes if he's if he's got credits to graduate he should be done with with high school but he's gonna stick no. around. if he's if it's his class and by that i mean Whatever grade he came in at, or the class of kids he came in at, that person should have four years to compete. For people who miss the story, uh, it's a kid has been ruled ineligible because he has too many credits. Uh, Wall Lake Western wide receiver Abdur Raham Rahman, sorry, uh, Yassim, who's going to Northwestern, wide receiver, ruled ineligible his final year for using a Paul's eligibility. Detroit News Story say says he was homeschooled until arriving at Wall Lake Western. For his freshman year in 2016, he took too many credits above grave level, and the classification level was changed by the MHSAA. So when he was a freshman, he was sophomore in terms of his credits. So when he was a sophomore, he was a junior. When he was a junior, he was a senior in terms of credits. Now he's a senior, and they're saying he's been ruled ineligible because he has too many credits. I'm sorry. I think this is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard, unless there's more to the story, which I presume there is, and there has to be. If they're presented with this right off the bat, saying, okay, he's coming as a freshman, but he's really not a freshman because he's classified as this, I think the decision should have made back in 2016 to let him know what the consequences could be. And at that point, if you're the parent, do you say something like, 
okay, well, we'll uh, do we do we say we're not going to include a couple of these classes? I, I think if they if we have rules in place that basically tell kids do not overachieve academically, <laughs> I agree. it's it seems the dumb. dumbest thing ever. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. So they're saying if you fail your senior year and had to take it over, he could play. That's from Manny and Dearborn. Well, I guess it would be his junior year. Uh, from Scott, some of these high school ads need to realize that this isn't the Southeastern Conference; it's high school sports. Well, I think some of the parents need to realize that too. Oh, maybe yeah. If, if you get parents that are complaining about it, ninety-seven won the ticket.